last rotation of third year and I'm feeling it. To round off my year of core clinicals, I have three weeks in this state housing for general surgery. Tiny, tiny city called America's Georgia. And honestly, it's kind of weird because this house has a general surgery resident in it, two, I believe, MUSC medical students rotating in it, and two CRNA students in it. So it's like a full house, but thank God I have my own room because I was so scared of upsetting other people, having to wake up at like five o'clock to get to the OR on time. I mean, I can't really complain. It is free housing and it's just three weeks, so. But honestly, not too bad. And it's nice to finish out my rotation year in somewhere completely different. Travel, no matter in what capacity, is still nice. Actually, we have small scrubs. Nice. Call weekend. Contrasted to my orthopedic rotation that I just came off of, this is a little bit more of your traditional surgery type of day in the life. Still waking up around five to try to knock out some Ankies and questions so that I can at least study a little bit in the day. Then we're here at seven o'clock to round on a couple patients that we're taking care of. And a lot of the cases that we do throughout the day are your standard general surgery cases, your lap appies, your lap coles. But because my attending is versed in, or he's more specialized in minimally invasive bariatric stuff, so we do a lot of gastric bypasses and a ton of colonoscopies. Basically, kind of sort of GI surgery rotation deal, which I'm not complaining about. I get to hold the camera for most of the time, which, sure, I've gotten a lot of experience doing that over the past year. But I've also gotten to use the like little you know, grasper, snipper thingies. You guys know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll put a picture of like right here. But overall, the ORs here are really nice. And all the nurses and like staff are just so nice to me. I love it. And on general surgery, it's a requirement that we take a weekend of call with your attending and resident. So that's why I'm here on the freaking weekend. Luckily, I think I escaped call without having to do a case, but we still have to round and stuff. <laughs> Did I mention they give us free food here too? Their mac and cheese is amazing. Guys, do your surgery rotation at an away campus. This is awesome. Chest tube time. Where is half of this stuff we're looking for? It is equally exciting and strange to be called in to do random things like this, but honestly, kind of cool. I'm all for it. I spend way too much time here. literally isn't even our cat. This is a cat that just has learned that this is a student house and just hangs out.
The CRNA students named him Tuna. He's adorable. And he greeted me on my way out this morning. What's up? Elevator lighting isn't bad. Another morning, another set of rounds. Let's go see the patients. This is what happens when you walk into orthopedic cases. I'm learning I have a really weird relationship with surgery and it has to do with a lot of factors. One, this being my last three weeks and I'm very tired, but I think it's this feeling of exhausted, exhausted fulfillment where I have this severe cognitive dissonance where it's like, I want to be here. For example, today I stayed for orthopedic cases and I absolutely loved every se single second of it. But then there are days where I want to stay and get my time in the OR because I know I may not have another chance to do this until my sub eyes or my fourth year and before I hit four months of dedicated. But I'm like, do I need to? Because I'm so tired and it's really kind of, open my eyes to what a life in surgery could be and my heart and my brain is very confused because i don't know whether to love it or be very afraid of it it comes to no surprise that my surgery 73 question interviews have been by far the most popular but it also shouldn't come to a surprise to many people that Surgery is a lot more than just the title and I can tell you all day long that there is a ton more responsibility and a ton more hours and a ton more work that needs to be put in to have this as a career and a life. But I don't think you really understand it until you get to the step of third year rotation and you really put yourself as close to in their shoes as possible without being a resident or an attending. Now, would I recommend anybody schedule their surgery rotation last? Probably not. However, one of the best decisions I think I made was to do my surgery rotations at community sites or more rural areas because I think you get a lot more hands-on experience and it gives you a better idea of what it's like to be an attending. You're not having to fight with residents to get exposure to the surgeries or getting first assist chances. And overall, I just think it's a way more laid back environment where you're not constantly worried about being this uptight, super academic student, but more just, do I like this or not? And do I see myself doing this for 30, 40 years of my life? Now, just because you're at a community or rural site, does that excuse you from the classic procedure long pimp sessions that make you feel like a complete idiot? Especially on general surgery, you're just simply not going to escape that. However, at sites, especially this one that I've noticed, all the staff around you are super encouraging and want you to get the right answer. Maybe because they're not exactly used to students fumbling through questions all the time like if you were at an academic center but that also may just be here and one of the reasons why I've loved really being here because the goal is really to just pour into all the students and all the surgeons here are fantastic at it which is why I've kind of hopped into some of the orthopedic cases because he's just such a good enthusiastic surgeon and wants to pour all his knowledge and passion into the students that come by. And kind of a crowning lesson from this year is really find those attendings that are so passionate about their field and want to pour out to you and allow yourself really to be poured into and learn. I know the classic saying is be a sponge and soak up everything on rotations and some attendings simply are better at giving you something to soak up versus others.
so when you find the ones that really give you a lot, learn as much as you can. You know it's bad when the trash in your backseat is just surgery, mass, and scrub hats. <laughs> gastric bypasses this morning back to back a bunch of hernia repairs so I'm gonna be on my feet I need my coffee <sighs> sprinting to the finish line <laughs> case of third year, hemorrhoidectomy. <sighs> Just like that, third year's over. <laughs> <laughs>